uh, comment on my profile? Yeah, I did, man. Okay. All right, Dustin. That's uh, well. Hey, man. Welcome. I really appreciate that. Good to talk to you. What's going on? Well, I got a question for you because I think, unlike most of your callers, I'm a little closer to your age, and um, <clears throat> I know you've seen quite a few movies going back. And I was wondering what you thought about the way all these movies today you use a lot, awful lot of CGI. And as a, a fan of movies going back, I'm kind of starting to lose interest once it cuts to the CGI effects, like the Hulk and that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, it's a tricky thing, man. I mean, the Hulk is one of those creations where I thought the only way they think could convincingly do the Hulk is through CGI. Is it perfect? No. But is it, does it look like the Hulk from the comics? Yeah. Uh, but I agree with you. CGI, I mean, I have this talk at least once a week with somebody, and CGI is a little bit overused. There are points where it's used convincingly, and I think that's great. I think half the parts, uh, half the first half of Hancock, the CGI effects took a backseat to the to the character and the story, and that was great. It's only when people – and for big summer blockbusters, that's fine. I mean, for a comic book movie, CGI effects are great, whatever. I mean, I think they're still a little bit overused, but you do what you got to do. Now, where CGI effects are used the worst and take away from a film is in a horror movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if you agree or not. I, not CGI not, blood. I mean, CGI blood is <laughs> terrible. CGI blood is just too obvious right now. And CGI creatures, when I'm looking at a movie, I'm thinking, when I see a creature in CGI, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about something like Cloverfield. I'm not talking about a monster movie. I'm talking about a horror film, something where it's supposed to get inside of our minds and scare the shit out of us. I, I'm just not creeped out by that. I mean, you show, because we have CGI now, we are shown too much. Where in horror, I'm of the opinion that if you, the least you can show that as possible the more you're going to leave up to the, the audience's imagination and the more that person's going to be scared because I'm the type of person where if I can't, if, if something's not shown to me, I would scare the shit out of myself because I would fill in the blanks with something much worse in my mind. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's true. I was uh, wondering, have you seen The Third Mother yet? The new Dario Argento movie? No, I have not. How is it? I know what you're so, talking about too. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, no, I, 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 is, I, I become, uh, it, what, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, like Suspiria, the original, the original films he did, they were kind of gory and brutal, and uh, but they also were very suspenseful, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to you guys reviewing the Third, third Mother on Spill, because it, it's crazy. The violence in that movie, it's so over the top, it's almost like pure exploitation, and uh, it's not a good movie, but I think that you have a good. You guys will have a good time watching it at least because it's crazy. Well, I hope so because I just watched the spirit. Those of you who don't know, uh, Dario, Dario Argento, uh, big Italian horror guy, uh, did what, 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 he did zombie right? The zombie, yeah. what, zombie something. What, which one? Did, which one did he do where they grabbed the woman's head and brought her head into the, like, the splinter from a door and, and it went through her eyeball? You know, you know which one was that? And the zombies were crossing the bridge at the end. Was that yeah, Dario Argento? I- yeah, I think he actually produced that one, but that is uh, Zombie 2, the sequel. Zombie 2. Yeah, okay. the unofficial sequel, The Dawn of the Dead. And uh, in, in Suspiria, I have to tell you, man, Suspiria, I think, has got a little bit overhyped for me because I wasn't thrilled about it when I finally watched really? it. I, I, I mean, it's, a, it's a good movie. I mean, I can understand how at the time it was, it was great. Uh, just one of those movies where it's so, it's so historically uh, recommended as a great horror movie, and, and it is good. I just, I, I don't know, I guess I was expecting more, but I'm going to go watch it again, but I'm not saying it's bad at all. I'm not talking shit about it. I don't want a bunch of Suspiria fans getting alarmed. I'm like, fuck you, Corey. So, so you big horror fan, huh? Yeah, yeah, I like your horror. I like all the genres. Which, uh, just one more question. Uh, I was just wondering, that same question I asked your mom was, what, what movies do you like? Like, what are your favorite movies? Well, I, I really don't have a whole lot of favorite movies, man. I mean, I can tell you some movies that I watch over and over again. Uh, Quentin Tarantino's. I mean, it's such a routine answer, but Quentin Tarantino's two movies, uh, Jackie Brown and and uh, what do you call it? Um, Jackie Brown and uh, uh, a Pulp Fiction. I can watch over and over again. Uh, there's certain animated movies I can watch over and over again. You're gonna make fun of me, but there's a couple of Disney movies I can just watch over and over again. Uh, training Days, one of my favorite movies for some reason. I'm not even saying the movies are great, but I can watch that over and over again. It's uh, funny. There's some, what's I was that? Say, it's, it's funny you say that because I thought Training Day had the same feel as Pulp Fiction. I, I thought it was really similar. Like it had um, a lot of the same quirky, funny dialogue, and it had a lot of that same unexpected kind of queasy feeling while you watched it. I think those two movies are really similar. 
Well, the reason why I love Training Day is because I don't want to ruin anything for anybody who has not seen the movie, but you can go back and watch how Denzel Washington was setting things up, and it's just that you didn't catch before. And I just love seeing that over and over again, seeing that puzzle go together. City of God is a movie I can see over and over, and over again. I, I love that film. And, look, I want to recommend a movie for people out there, and it's a, it's a very, very, very independent film, but and not everybody's going to like it, but – I would love to just send people a copy of this movie. I'm not going to do it because I don't have that much money to send out copies to 100 people. But there's a movie called The Woman Chaser, uh, which has uh, – oh, man, what's that guy that played Putty on uh, on Seinfeld? Oh, uh, he's always – You know I'm ta- I know. You know I'm talking about, though, right? Uh, what's that guy? Yeah, Patrick. He was, Patrick Warburton. Oh, oh, Patrick, Patrick Warburton. It uh, has Patrick Warburton. It's a very, very independent black-and-white movie. It's in, but it's very stylistic. It's very well made for the budget it has. I'll do a DVD review of it sometime or down the line. But I, that's a movie that I can watch over and over again because I just love the style of that movie. What is? Give me before I let you go. Give me two films of yours that you just love that you can watch over and over again. Ghostbusters and let's see, uh, the Street Fighter starring Sonny Chiba. You suck. No, I'm kidding, man. Those, those, those are good, no, those are good movies, man. Ghostbusters is a very funny movie. I've only seen that Sonny Chiba uh, Street Fighter one time, but that that is a that's a, that's an excellent kung fu film, or uh, martial arts movie, whatever. So, congratulations on all your success and the interactivity of your site. It's really incredible. And I wish you the best. Hey, man. Oh, hey, man. Look, I can't thank you enough. Uh, like I said, I I don't have a big head about any of this stuff. I mean, well, I'm not a millionaire or anything, so I can't. But I just want to let everybody know that I I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys and that that really it, I, I don't even know how to express it that's the only reason why I do this call in thing because I just like to talk to people who help make us what we're doing so oh, thank you crazy. man it's like you can't get Harry Knowles on the phone so I mean you gotta well get... hey man G- give it time you're not going to get me on the phone either I'm just waiting to make some money <laughs> <That's all. Yeah. laughs> when I finally get enough money I'm not talking to you peons out there you crazy and when I mean pee on, I mean really pee on. I'm gonna walk by and pee on you when I when I'm passing you on the street. So, no, I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty nice guy, man. You know what? You get to a point where you struggle so long that it, let's just say let's just say somebody put a million dollars on my porch right now. I I would not change my attitude whatsoever. It's just been ingrained in me to be just grateful to people. So, whatever. So I pretty way, man. I appreciate you you uh, calling. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, to come to the site. So thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right, I'll talk to you later, man. See you. Bye. All right, let's go ahead and take a call here. Three. From, three. from, uh, from area code 323. What'd you say? Hello? Hello? Hello. What's cracking, man? Oh, man, is this The Shining? You know it. Oh, what's going on, kid? Ah. How you doing, man? What's cracking, dude? Hey, hey man, let me tell you something. I had, a, I had a really good time talking to you last week. Well, I did too, sir. One of oh, my heroes. One of my heroes. Oh, uh, that's not. Don't don't put that kind of pressure on me now. You don't do that. <laughs> no, you're making me you're a big inspiration, yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, you're making me feel like I need to go do volunteer volunteer work in Darfur or something. Don't don't put that pressure uh-huh. on me. <laughs> yeah, but you're already doing the volunteer work. You're entertaining us. You know what I'm saying? Keeping us together. You know, we spillers and spillites, whatever y'all call them. So, you know, I enjoy it and. I appreciate it. You know, we're getting all sentimental right now, you know what I'm saying? I know, man. I know. It's like, man, it's like we should be sitting around a campfire holding hands. <laughs> yeah, kumbaya, kumbaya, my lord. <laughs> kumbaya, yeah, my lord, like I wrote the other night. But, so what's going on, man? Nothing, man. Just yeah, burning up in L.A., that's it. But, Is that um, hot in L.A.? Man, it's like 80-something. Oh, man, 80-something. Oh, you know something? I was uh, I was listening to this uh, podcast that took place in San Francisco, and these dudes mm-hmm. were talking about – Oh man, it's so hot here. It's so hot. And I was like, and I was like, and then, and then I heard like, damn, is that hot in San Francisco? And then they say, you know, it's like about mid seventies. I'm like, oh shit, come on, man. It's, I mean, I'm here in Texas. Texas is hell on earth. All right. I, oh, oh yeah, I know. I've been there. I've been there before. I lived in Arizona for two years, so I know. But you know, compared to LA, see, we got the sunny weather, and it's pretty clear most of the time. But then you got wind hitting you. You know what I'm saying? Because we we by the ocean, so. We get in that breeze. Seventy something is pretty cool. Seventy five, we like that. But when they get eighty okay. and over that, oh, we fuck. <laughs> you say, you, y'all ain't used to it. 
the perm yeah. getting all shaggy and, and kinky and everything. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. Hey, so look, hey, hey, look here, man. You live in a, you live in L.A. What's this? What's this shit going on about a, an, a, an actor strike? All right, um, I did a blog about this a couple of days ago. What happened was, I don't know all the details, but what's going on? They have um, the the studios. It's pretty much like the writer strike. So the studios. And the producers are together, you know, they this is pretty much SAG doing the deal. So what they're saying is they want this money and blah blah blah. It's around two hundred million dollars. And um that's that's what the producers negotiated for SAG. But mm-hmm. they they're pretty much like, No, nah, we don't want that. We want more. And they didn't they said they didn't pretty much go over the terms of the there there's certain things in the contract that they that haven't been met. So they're like, we're not going to take it. They don't want to go to strike, but then they want to still hold this thing out. And, yeah, there's big-name stars involved, too. So, like, Will Ferrell spoke on it. A lot of them said they're going to come out, stop their movies. Actually, production stopped about two days ago in Hollywood. So oh, that's what's shit. going down. So, so what's I, your take? So it's just it's all, it's all business. It's not about greed. It's just it's business. It's, People it's, deal I think it's business. business. Yeah. I, what, what I think is... You know, these big Hollywood stars and directors and whatnot, these people, yeah, they make a grip of money, but then there's the people that are under them, that, you know, struggling people coming up, people, person just getting into the industry like myself, you know, we want our break too. So, you know, when a person does a movie, they want their side, they want their cut, um, probably off the DVD sales and, and rotation on TV and whatnot. So... You know, the studios, they, what, what they about? They're about money. They don't care about the story. They don't care about, you know, like we, we're involved in, they don't care about none of that shit. So, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what so, it sounds like? It sounds like, okay, here's what I'm getting from it. It sounds like, first of all, it's crazy how technology has come in, has come in and just turned this business on its head that people exactly. have to figure out now what the fine details of percentages are, royalties are. Yeah. Where, where the money's coming from, because that's what was going on with the writers. They're like saying, well, with DVD sales now and stuff being distributed on the Internet, I mean, how are we supposed to know when we're not getting our cut or not? And that seems exactly. to be going on with the actors, too. And on top of that, it seems like you mentioned that people coming into the game like you are, it's, it, if, if people go ahead and get this settled now, it's going to make it a little clearer for, for, the, for the newbies who come in later on down the line. Exactly. It was pretty much you, we, we're in the information age now, so... That's overwhelming in itself. Look at it. It's changed the whole world. So, you know, the flow of information, we can't keep up with it. So in order to keep up with it, we got to adjust some things, and people suffer because of it. So, you know, that that's what's going on now. And, you know, the, for these people in the studio, they got the money. So, you know, that's why a lot of the fools are doing independent shit now because they don't want to deal with all that crap, you know. But the yeah. dudes in the studio, Even- they, hmm? Even they, I was gonna say, even though I heard they said talk about independent movies, even though I heard now I don't know how it's gonna affect everything and production just stopping in Hollywood. But uh, there was an article I, re, I, I just recently read, and I, just, I think I mentioned this last week. It's called it was called The Sky Is Falling, and it was, it was in reference to uh, independent movies. Uh, Warner Brothers just shut down their independent uh, uh, division. I think of Wonder. Yeah, Wonder they, yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. Yeah, I, I don't a, know the details on it, but yeah, I heard about that. There was another there was another company that folded. I forgot the name of it. Production had stopped on some films. Uh, this guy David O. Russell, I think he did uh, Three Kings maybe at one time or something. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. But, he did uh, Three Kings, I okay. Heart Huckabees and stuff. I Heart Huckabees. Yeah. Damn, boy, you know, man. You you well you were pretty well versed in this shit. I like I love this. But uh, he, I'm <laughs> Well, he was working on a film. No, 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 no. I was just saying, he, I'm not, I, he just worked on a movie that they just shut production on because they couldn't pay people. Uh, independent yeah. movies, they say, is becoming a grim area, uh, but they just saying, well, the, the upside of that is like it, it's happening with uh, big movies too, and that you just can't go out and start making just bullshit. You got to be smarter. You got to got to be uh, uh, more talented now. You got to just go out and make things that people actually want to see. Yeah, uh, the, I mean, the economy is really bad right now. Of course, everybody knows so. You know, it, it, it's starting to affect everybody. People used to think when the economy was bad, it's not going to affect me. But you see, it's affecting everything. Hollywood shutting down. It twice it shut down in one year. It ain't even it's, it ain't even half the year yet. So <laughs> I mean, the writers. Yeah, no. What was crazy? What was crazy is, you know, when I was going to work, I was working up at a college, and I, it's right by Sony Studios. 
And, you know, going through West L.A., there's all kind of, you know, I work in West L.A., so, I mean, the the streets were littered with writers and the writers strike. Everybody wearing their red shirt, got all these signs and stuff, you know, we all honking our horns and stuff every time we go past and stuff. These fools, I mean, they were out there grinding, you know, trying to get their yeah. money, so it, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, well, you think the economy is, is pushing some of this along, too? I believe it is. I believe it is. Yeah. I think everything is suffering because in, in, in the cost of everything right now, you know, inflation is a bitch. <laughs> so, uh, you know, yeah. people don't understand. They got to pay for all that film. They got to pay for these cameras, pay for the cameraman. Like, you wonder why. Why films back in the day, they probably the highest was like $60 million. Now they're like mm-hmm. $200, million for, $200 million for a film. You know, it, it's crazy. It's, and this is yeah. the day. <laughs> this is, a, no. you know, a crazy time. No, no, no. I, I hear you, man. It's uh, it, and that's that's what they were saying. They were saying the cost of everything has gone up. I mean, shit, milk, milk costs like five dollars now. You can't even eat a bowl of cereal without without <laughs> cutting your wrist. I mean, goddamn. I, I'm trying to eat cocoa puffs, man. Shit, I'm not, not, oh, I'm, not I'm not eating a steak dinner. Come on. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I mean, I want some frosted flakes. But it's like, yeah. So of course, if I mean, if the cost of everything is going up, movies are going to cost more. So they say that they're going to like try to try to uh, be a little more, I guess, uh, discriminating about the stuff that they make. But, I mean, I wonder how this whole strike is going to affect everything now. It's, it's, it's a weird time, man, we're living in when it affects our entertainment like this. And I just want to appreciate you giving me the insight on that because I did not know. You were so well-read on this shit. I had, I had, I had been keeping up with it. So oh, I appreciate it, man. man. Anything I well, can do to help, don't you? <laughs> no, 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 man. It's a, it's a pleasure talking to you. You, you and I got to chat sometimes, man. I mean, right. I've mean, and uh, I tell you what, I, I'm still thinking about coming out there to California. Now, don't give, don't, uh, don't, don't be surprised if I give you a call. I'm coming out there to see my friend in L.A. All right, I might give you a heads up. Uh, you know what? I'll slip you. I'll, I'll email you my number, and you hit me up whenever you want, dude. And you know, like I said, I'll make the time. Ain't true. I'll tell right, you all around here, man. <laughs> All right, that's what I need, man. I, I need, I need it. I, now look, I'm not asking you to be my tour guide or anything. I'm just saying. Oh, no, no, I'm no. <laughs> I just like having I like bragging rights. I like yeah. I was hanging up with my boy there in L. A. Oh yeah, did I tell you, I know people in L. A. It's all it's all gravy. We go see we go meet some girls and whatnot and just run them up. So oh well, shit. I'm catching a plane tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the key on the door because uh, by the door, I'm coming tonight. If that's the case, no nah, man. Grown ass women. <laughs> grown ass women. That's right. That's all you got to mention. Girls, where? Let's go. So hey man, I'm gonna give you. We'll, we'll talk later on. I'm gonna go ahead and take some more calls. All right, for sure, man. All, All right, right good talking to you, man. Later. You too. Bye. All right, guys. All right, man. I like him. I like him a lot. I, I have a feeling that that guy's gonna be big one day. He's gonna be in the. He's gonna do something in the entertainment business, and I'm gonna be on the side. Hey, Shadi, what's up, man? Gonna be like, who's this guy right here? Uh, security, get this nigga out of here. So anyway, let's go ahead and take uh another call. And this call is coming from area code seven two four. Hello? Hello. Yeah, this is Aaron again. Like, yeah, not Aaron what? from before. From before, like the Aaron with the Simpsons movie icon. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I was about to hang up. I was like, God damn it now, you can't be calling all night. What's yeah. going on, man? Uh, not much. You know, I was actually going to say something about the Screen Actors Guild thing. And uh, I actually looked on here earlier, and they said that a couple of, like, the big budget movies were still... You know, they were still filming. Like, the new Terminator movie is still, like, filming some exterior things. And, so, uh, what, couple... what's the word on that? Was it Were they supposed to halt production on that? And I guess they're shutting down everything in Hollywood is, is what you're saying. Yeah, like, a couple of big-budget movies. Like, this one, uh, The new, I know for a fact that the Vinci Code sequel was also filming. And uh, the, uh, what's that other one? Uh, yeah, the new Transformers sequel, uh, they... Like, after, like, all the screen actors, if they do go to a strike, they would stop filming, and, like, the directors would shoot, like, exterior stuff. Well, I mean, I was, no, I'm, I understand what you're saying. There's, they got so much invested in these bigger films. I'm sure Hollywood is just not shutting down. Like, you get to Hollywood, and they got a big neon clothes sign on the gate or something. No, it's not not like that. Now, I'm not an industry insider. I'm not claiming to be uh, uh, somebody who can professionally comment on what happens in the inner workings of Hollywood, but I'm pretty sure that there's some second unit direction stuff that they can do 
if a, if a strike does happen, which is what you're saying. And for those of you, and I'm not trying to talk like I like I know everything. I mean, because I didn't know about this stuff like a long time ago. But second unit direction stuff is anything that you can shoot that doesn't involve any actors or maybe involves extras or it's it's just side stuff. In fact, they have directors that do that. I mean, it might be somebody you might be filming somebody picking up a cup. You might be filming yeah. grass or something. Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. They can they can do that kind of stuff still. Yeah, and it's like a. I'm pretty sure it's not going to involve every single actor. Because I don't think every single actor is involved with the Screen Actors Guild. I highly doubt that. But like, yeah, I mean, yeah. So and, yeah, uh, not, yeah, you know what? It'd be fun if the sequel to Transformers comes out and we have actors that we've never seen before. <laughs> it's like, what the hell happened to the last? Cause where's Shia LaBeouf? They got some dude named named Shane LaBula or something. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's a movie with nothing but robots. They ain't got no actors in it. <laughs> we decided to put it on. Well, we decided to put this on. Uh, on like, where the Transformers come from? Cybertron. We decided to put everything on Cybertron. <laughs> Fuck actors. We don't need that. <laughs> every movie, and, and we're gonna make every movie's gonna have a. Uh, it's gonna be an animated movie about some kung fu animal out there. <laughs> no, no more live action movies. They don't need. They, yeah, I mean, they'll, like like they say in Jurassic Park, life will find a way. But they'll get this resorted out. I'm uh, sorted out. I'm sure. So. Yeah, but now this this is the same Aaron that uh that does actually blog every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is this Aaron. I do this every week, but I can't thank you enough. You're one of my favorites, man. You, I Not love what problem. you do. So, and it, it like hasn't been a problem. Uh, well, thank you. This hasn't been a problem for you. For those of you who don't know, I got to give Aaron. I got to let everybody know. I have I haven't really come out and told people about Aaron. Aaron is one of those members on the site. He's not he's not hired by us. We're not paying him. He has just taken it upon himself to write about something every day, and we use a lot of his stuff. We feature a lot of his stuff on the front page, and it's good shit that he writes. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to just come out and openly thank you, Aaron. That's very nice of you. It's a help to us, a big help to us. You're welcome. It's just something I really, really like. I like movies. I like television. Just I like a lot of things in the entertainment business. Well, it shows, man. It shows very much. And uh, thank you for doing our work for us. We're not, we're not gonna send you a check. No, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just messing with you. Maybe, maybe one of these days, if we if we get big enough, I mean, the site's been growing and everything's been great, but you know, not everybody's rolling in dough yet. So maybe maybe one of these days, if we get big enough, we might call you up and be like, "Hey, Aaron, what are you doing? You want you want a job?" <laughs> so, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take some more calls, uh, Aaron. But it's always great talking to you, man. Great talking to you too. All right. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Before I take this call, I see people have been asking, what do we call people on spill? I don't know. I might make an official form so I can – myself. I hardly make forums or discussions, but I might make one saying, asking you guys what you would like to be called. I myself came up with spillers. Somebody else came up with spillios. Somebody came up with spillos. Somebody came up with spillies. I don't know. It's everywhere. Everybody's doing their own thing. But I would like one official name. So if you guys think of something and – we're all in agreement on it. Uh, the majority is in agreement on it, then that's what we'll do. So let's go ahead and take a call, and I'm not going to even say the uh, I'm not going to say the number. I'm just going to say the name. Gore the movie god. Damn, but that kind of introduction, man. You got to keep up. Come on. I'm gonna try this again. Gore the movie god. Oh yeah. <laughs> I introduce you as a god, and you come out and you're like, oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> no, man, I my, my like, computer I was just like, froze up. Sorry. Oh, okay. I was, I was no. expecting, like, metal music to be playing, and you were coming down out the sky. <laughs> you know, but Whoa, it's like, yo. yeah, he's there. Hey, fellas, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, nothing. I actually, uh, you remember when I asked that uh, stupid Mike Myers question? I get a lot of stupid questions all week. What was, what was yours? Oh, no. I'm kidding. I'm just, oh, no, the Austin <laughs> Powers. Oh, yeah, Austin what about Powers. Uh I just saw a gold member, and yeah, you're right, it does suck. Uh, 